What's going on guys? Today I have the Wemo Bridge and this is a Wi-Fi smart bridge that enables your Wemo switches, your Wemo lights, your Wemo plugs to all work with Apple's HomeKit. Now, if you guys remember, Wemo came out with their light switches very early in the game. They were one of the first players to announce plugs um, and the light switches. So none of that technology was really built around Apple's HomeKit. And so this is where this smart bridge comes into place. It integrates the two of them so that they work seamlessly. And today I just want to unbox it, check it out, set it up and do a quick review. So and so let's just unbox it. Once we open up the packaging, we have a manual. Inside this manual, we also have a, a code to link our bridge with our HomeKit app. This is the device itself. It's actually pretty small here, guys. Uh, I was expecting it to be a little bit larger. Now, I've been waiting for this for about a month now. It's just been um, on pre-order and they've had a lot of time uh, trouble fulfilling all of these orders but on the back here we have a code to link it and just a ethernet port restore button right there as well as a plug for power it's micro USB I'm not gonna be like these other youtubers on here that are complaining that it's not USB-C because it's kinda pointless it's just for power and then power brick. So let's plug that in and then we're gonna jump back over here. All right, so I've got that plugged into my Wi-Fi router now and it just blinks orange and white and once it's blinking that color, we can come to our phone. Now we're just gonna do add accessory and we're gonna use the HomeKit setup code and looks like we scan it with our camera. So it finds our Wemo bridge here. We'll throw it in our favorite so that it pops up in control center. We'll hit next. So it looks like it's also picking up all these um, rooms. So we have our entry light, we have our bedroom lamp, we also have our hallway light, and we can change the room right here. So we can type our own, um, we can choose what type of switch it is, and then we can change the room, type in our own. I'm just gonna skip all this because I don't want to um, just film all this unnecessary stuff. Now we have all of our switches right here. This is great. Let's see, we're now in the kitchen, so. On and off. And this actually works very quick, guys. Um, this is just like using it in the Wemo app. It's very quick. This switch uh, was about 40 bucks, and again, it just links all your Wemo devices. I think it's definitely worth it. Um, it's annoying that you have to pay 40 bucks, but if you have, you know, plenty of switches, again, like my whole apartment is wired up to be Wemo, 40 bucks in the grand scheme of things isn't a ton of money um, when you want to integrate it with that. So let's try this. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, can you turn off the kitchen? Okay. Hey Siri, turn on kitchen. Done. Nice, so it works pretty quick guys, just like Amazon Echo. Alexa, can you turn off the kitchen lights? Okay. Alexa, turn on the kitchen lights. Okay. Siri, turn off kitchen. Hey Siri, turn off kitchen. Okay. Hey Siri, turn on kitchen. So okay. It's a little weird with the Apple HomeKit. I think I just gotta come in here and change the name. Right now it's named just Kitchen, not Kitchen Light. So it's a little weird. I like to say turn off Kitchen Light instead of just turn off Kitchen. Lastly, the great thing about this bridge is it enables you, if you do have an Apple HomePod, you can use that. 
to control your lights as well. So I don't have one yet. I think it's about three or 400 bucks. It's pretty expensive, so I wasn't gonna pick one up right away. Um, but if you do have one of those, it's great because you can use that as well as Google Home or Amazon Echo. So if you guys found that video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. If you wanna check out that Wemo Bridge, I'll throw a link in the description um, to the Amazon page, which has like all the specs and everything to it. So you can check that out there. Again, hit that like button if you found the video helpful. Subscribe to my channel for more tech videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.